Okay, so as promised, here is the review for the Western Digital Silicon Edge Blue Solid State Drive. This is the 256 gigabyte model. Of course, it's SATA. It's only three gig, three gig per second, not uh, not six. Um, as you can see, the SATA connectors are actually at the top of the drive and not at the bottom, as is more commonly done with the uh, platter drives. Um, got a manufacturing date of 10-9, which is actually kind of old, considering. Um, this is the way I received it, from Newegg.com. None of my distributors actually had the drive. Of course, I didn't get one for free from Western Digital, and the uh, partner portal, the Select WD portal, did not uh, offer this from the partner store for any kind of discount. So, I paid full retail at Newegg for this drive, and I'm not sponsored by anybody. Okay, there is the mounted... Uh, Silicon Edge drive to the StarTech adapter. This is installing Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate Edition onto a Velociraptor 300 gigabyte. I'm gonna start the installation now and I'm also gonna start the stop. There's the iPhone right there with the stopwatch on it. So you can see we're right here at expanding files and the stopwatch is at 20 seconds. Right now we're right at 10 minutes. And uh, we're already at the completing installation phase. So here we are preparing my desktop. Uh, what do we got? 15.25, so we're not quite there yet. Of course I had to scramble for about 30 seconds to find my CD key. By that I mean I had to log on to TechNet and retrieve it. It looks like we're mostly up and running. Um, but I need to show you one thing first. And this is where I'm going to lap it. So right now we're going to lap it. All right. So 1553, give or take. That that's how long it took to install. Um, like I said, you might have to shave off 30 seconds because it took me so long to find the CD key. Now, look at this. We're we're showing everything is good except for this, and I mean that can be found. Both of these can be found online. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let Windows do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna let Windows do it. Uh, also, keep in mind that I am part of a domain, so I'm not going to add that part in because mm -hmm. that's not something that most people are going to do. The other thing to keep in mind is that my internet connection speed is roughly 12 megabits per second down. That's going to factor in when we're doing things like this, downloading driver software. Now, I want to see that it's actually... Yeah, see, this isn't right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to search online for that. Uh, and see if we can find a better one. Because I don't think that's right. Of course, I have all these already bookmarked. Okay, see, that's not right. Not bookmarked, but I have all these saved. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for the creative. Okay, so I've already installed the ATI drivers. I haven't uh, rebooted yet. I'm installing the creative software before I reboot. But here's where we're at. We're at 22 minutes, 30 seconds. The specs on this computer are pretty high. It's got a 9450 processor. It's got 8 gig of DDR3 1066 memory. It doesn't have the um, 1333. The motherboard is the Intel DX48BT2. So I'm not at the top end. I'm not running a Core i7 processor. And the video card's uh, 5870. We're done. Okay, we're done. So we're done and we're looking at 2745. Okay, so here we are with the pass mark rating results. The overall pass mark rating, which is 1967.4. The main thing we're looking at here, because this is a disk to disk comparison, is going to be this disk mark. So the disk mark, which is what this is, for this computer is 813.1. Okay, so one huge advantage of this case, I haven't installed the drive yet, but one huge advantage is that the cage just slides out after taking off two screws from the, from the right side and two screws on the left side. Uh, and the cage just comes out the front. So there's the hard drive cage right there, and of course the, the fan connection um, is also right there. And there's the Western Digital Velociraptor. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that Velociraptor out. Um, it's real simple, actually. <clears throat> Once the hard drive cage is out, you just pull these sides off. It just, they just slap in there. It's kind of a vibration cage. Um, pull out the Velociraptor screws and go ahead and screw in the um, Silicon Edge. Okay, so there is the awesome drive right there, the Western Digital Velociraptor, 300 gigabytes. As you can see, it's actually 
a two and a half inch drive. Now I think it's about 15 millimeters tall, so it wouldn't fit in the laptop. But it's a, it's a two and a half inch drive that is screwed onto this um, uh, three and a quarter inch heat sink. So I know Western Digital now offers these drives in two and a half inch format only. I don't know if you could get away with just taking those, um, unscrewing those torque screws and slapping this thing in a two and a half inch enclosure like for a uh, SAS array, um, a two and a half inch form factor SATA array like on an HP ML series server or DL series server. Uh, I wouldn't do it personally. I would go ahead and just buy the new two and a half inch Western Digital Velociraptors for that just in case it voids the warranty because you can see this little this one torque screw right here that holds it in place is actually covered and I'm sure that would void the warranty, which is, on these drives, I think it's five years. Um, it doesn't really say, I know the Seagate drives usually say how long the warranty is on the on the label. This one doesn't. But I do believe it's five years. So this drive, it's uh, still got three more years before the warranty's up, if it is indeed five years. And if it's only three years, it's still got another year before the warranty's up. So it's a good drive. I've had a lot of... Um, good experiences with this drive. I've got it in several PCs. No big problems. I've had a lot of good experiences with Western Digital in general. So that's the drive that's coming out. That's the one we just ran the benchmarking tests on and installed Windows on. Uh, I'll go ahead and format this probably for a different PC later. Here is uh, the problem that I've run into with this adapter. Uh, didn't really affect me so much in the other computer I installed it in because it sat a little bit farther back using the, the, the drive rails. Um, I guess I could change it. I could fiddle around with the way it's it's actually set in here and move the screws or position it farther out, but I'm not going to. So the problem is, I don't know if you can see, yeah, by the video you can see it there. It set the drive back about an inch inside of the drive cage. Really, it's not that huge of a deal. It's just if you've got a full case, <laughs> an already full case like that one there, you know, with the CPU and the and the long, long GPU um, card, then you might have some issues getting your hand in there without possibly damaging some components to, to hook the connections back up to the SATA drive. I don't think I'm going to run into any problem. I just wanted to let you be aware of that, that it is going to sit a little bit farther back than the drive would normally sit. Uh, if you want to see a comparison, I can put the Western Digital drive in real quickly. See, the Velociraptor sits pretty much flush with the outside, whereas the Silicon Edge mounted inside of that StarTech adapter sits back a little bit. So, just just something to keep in mind. Not really a deal killer or anything like that. I really do like the adapter. It's, it's nice and well designed. Uh, I just wanted you to be aware of that fact. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the sides back on and put this drive cage back in and fire up the PC.